Hello and welcome to another one of my YouTube training videos. Today I want to highlight a great video conference and webinar tool, which is ClickMeeting. Now, as an online business owner, as a virtual consultant, as someone who really does live and breathe by connecting with people online, uh, you'll, you know, I appreciate how important video conference and webinar software is. And if you're anything like me, if you've looked at different options within this uh, area, you'll know there are a ton of different ways, video conference apps and tools that you can use to connect with people online. But ClickMeeting is a little bit different, and I wanna start by highlighting some of the main features that I feel help to set it apart from a lot of the other webinar tools out there. So the first thing is, with ClickMeeting, there's nothing for the attendee to download. And this is a little thing, but it's actually massive. <laughs> because uh, whether it's a client, or your audience that you're trying to connect with, if there's something for them to download, if they're less tech savvy, then that can be a really big obstacle that might mean they don't even attend your webinar or the video conference. So with ClickMeeting, they can attend and watch your webinar on any device using any browser, nothing to download. So that is a big win, which I think really sets ClickMeeting apart from some of the other tools out there. Second thing is there are a load of really useful integrations. So by integrating with Facebook, LinkedIn, Google, you can actually, when promoting your webinars, just pull in your existing contacts, your existing audience to instantly start to invite people to attend. Um, as you know, I'm a big fan of Pipedrive. I rely on Pipedrive for my consulting business. And so if I've run a webinar, I can instantly take all of the attendees and create new deals for them in Pipedrive. So if I've had my sales pitch, I create those deals and now I can actually manage the follow-up of all of those attendees. So I love the Pipedrive integration. And even just PayPal as well is great. I've run um, paid webinars in the past. So if I want people to pay to get entry, to get access to my webinar, I can put a PayPal, um, I can put PayPal in place and say, hey, you have to pay here before you can join. So there's some really great integration as well. Um, so, so yeah, just, just linking ClickMeeting with your other tools is super easy. Now, I wanna show you uh, some of the features of how to set up and, and how you can run your webinars. So here's an example that I have here, a productivity webinar. And if I click into here, uh, this is where I can just set up the basic information. Um, now this is set up as what's called a permanent event. So it's great if you have like webinars that you do on a regular basis. This URL, it just stays the same. People can just register for the same webinar again and again. And maybe I do that on a regular basis. Um, they can click the same URL. The URL just stays the same. So if I put this into my email automation, for example, it just allows me to run the same webinar again and again and again. Obviously, you can do scheduled webinars, so if it's a one-time thing that's happening at a certain day and time, you can set that up as well. On the waiting room here, you can customize. This is basically what people see when they've joined the webinar, but it hasn't started yet. So it's the waiting room. I can put in my speaker bio, and I've even got like an agenda for the webinar here. So it's just something really useful that people can see and get excited about before they join the webinar. Um, creating a registration page is really easy as well. Actually, I have one open here. So with very little work, just by uploading a logo, writing my speaker information, I can create this registration page. So I can, again, connect with my Facebook list, my newsletter list, and just say, hey, go and register here. And so with very little work at all, I can start to collect registrants for my webinar. When it's ready to send, you can either embed the, um, the, the uh, webinar room like video on your website. So this is actually great with those permanent webinars. Let's say you have a membership site and you want to give your like paying members exclusive access to some content. You can embed this webinar on like a private page on your website. And it just it's a great way of taking that webinar and putting it inside like a private area on your website. That's your area, that's your kind of online bit of the internet which you own. And it's just nice kind of putting it, putting it on your website um, rather than just being some page somewhere. So I think embedding it here is really nice. Um, and um, yeah, when you when you are ready to um, get people to register and join, uh, you can just add your participants, and you can either like take contacts from your account. You can invite people from past sessions, or one of the easiest things to do is just copy and paste the uh, webinar information and just send it to your list or manually send it out. Whatever. So setting up your webinar is super quick and easy. Now, when you're ready to run your webinar, I'm just gonna click join over here. There's loads of great features on the actual webinar page that you can use to just make your webinar a lot more uh, interactive and just entertaining uh, to, to watch. 
So up here we've got our you know video and microphone settings and on the left we have a bunch of different tools. So some of the key things that I really like are things like the whiteboard. So if I want to draw on here and doodle and annotate and explain what I'm talking about during a webinar, I can do that using the whiteboard. We've also got desktop sharing, as you would expect, you can, you know, just share your desktop if you want to give a tutorial. And I, I do this a lot, you know, when consulting with clients, I'm sharing my screen uh, to show them like how I use Asana and Pipedrive, that kind of thing. You've also got the ability to um, link in YouTube videos. So this is great. I mean, I love YouTube. I have plenty of videos on YouTube. So for example, I can find a video that I want to share maybe as part of my webinar. So let's see, here we go. Here's a video that I've um, created in the past. So this is a video I can actually embed into my webinar and I could actually pause my presentation and then actually play this video. So it's great if you want to supplement your webinar with other content or videos that you've already produced. Um, you've got surveys, questions, and I really like the call to action feature as well. So at the top of the webinar, I could say something like, sign up to my newsletter, sign up, and I could put in my registration page, I'll just put in my website for now. And then I can put this like sticky bar at the top. And so I've got a great call to action. So if you do have some kind of sales pitch or call to action that you're making, you can you can create the uh, call to action at the top of the screen. And then this is actually a, a really impressive feature is the ability to simultaneously live stream your webinar to Facebook or YouTube Live. And this is a feature I have not seen in any other video conference or webinar tool. Um, so you've got an audience on Facebook, you've got an audience on YouTube, or maybe it's a great way to get new people to find out about you. So streaming live, that content can go out to your audience wherever they are, and obviously it goes onto your Facebook page, your YouTube channel. So um, this is a really impressive feature um, that I really think helps set ClickMeeting apart. So there you are. That's a little introduction to ClickMeeting. Hopefully you can, you agree with me. Like it, I think there are a few things that really help it to stand out, really easy for people to register, really easy for people to join. So I think you'll agree, like you will get much uh, like higher attendance on your webinars. Um, that's always a big concern. People registering, not everyone joins. So I think it will improve your attendance. And with these features as well, I think people will actually get a lot more out of your webinars. So if you want to get started with webinar, check out the link in the description below this video where I have a special offer so you can get a discount on ClickMeeting when you sign up. All right. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.